The movie begins with a planet in the vast universe exploding into a million pieces. As the planet disintegrates a glowing meteorite breaks apart and hurtles towards Earth. Meanwhile, on Earth in Modesto, California, Susan Murphy was on her way to marry the famous news journalist Derek Diet. As the preparations for the wedding begin, Derek and Susan are excited to start a new chapter in their lives and have a loving conversation about their honeymoon. Derek departs and requests Susan to join him at the church where he will be waiting for her. As the ceremony is about to commence, Susan observes an object descending from the sky. As the meteorite appears to approach her, she becomes frightened and runs as fast as she can. The meteorite collides with her and she absorbs its radiation into her body. Susan managed to survive. Meanwhile, her mother had been searching for her because she was running late for her wedding. Upon finding her daughter in a dirty wedding dress, without allowing her time to explain, she hastily took her inside the church, changed her dress, and proceeded with the wedding. Susan walked down the aisle with her father, ready to marry the love of her life. However, as Derek's lifted her veil, he was shocked to see her face glowing. She too becomes terrified upon seeing herself in that state. Due to radiation exposure, Susan's body grew exponentially, resulting in her reaching an enormous size. That caused the church to collapse under her weight as she continued to expand. Her monstrous appearance terrified all those present, and they scrambled towards the front door in a frantic attempt to escape before the church crumbled entirely. Meanwhile, the U.S. military detected the comet and dispatched a team to secure the area. The team succeeded in capturing Susan by administering a tranquilizer via injection, after which they transported her to a secure location. Susan awakens in a top-secret government facility, closed off in a cell with no one around. After pleading for help several times, she starts wandering around. She notices a cockroach in the hall and becomes frightened. When the insect speaks to her, she is shocked and tries to kill it. To her surprise, a jelly-like creature and a fish-looking creature also join the cockroach. They introduce themselves as Dr. Cockroach, a mad scientist who turned himself into a hybrid of roach and human. Bob, a gelatinous blob created in a failed experiment, and Link, a lizard man who was frozen in Antarctica for 2200 years. Although Susan feels like she is in a dream, her terror intensifies when she encounters Insectosaurus, a colossal monster that causes her to scream and flee in panic. Eventually, she meets General Monger, the army officer responsible for overseeing the facility, instructs the monster to enter her cell and escorts her around. He explains to her that the facility is a place that houses monsters to protect the public from them. After showing her the living quarters of the monsters, he assigns her a new name, Genormica, which the government has given her. He also informs her that she is not allowed to contact her friends or family, and then proceeds to lock her in a cell. This action breaks her heart as she is unaware of what is happening to her. In a distant corner of the universe, an enigmatic spacecraft is under the command of an extraterrestrial ruler named Galaxer. His advanced computer system detects the presence of quintonium, a highly potent substance that Galaxer has been tracking for a considerable period. The computer precisely locates the substance's whereabouts on Earth. After receiving this news, Galaxer dispatches one of his robots to Earth to retrieve it. As soon as the robot touched down on Earth, the military quickly located and discovered it. The President of the United States tried to initiate contact with the extraterrestrial robot, but instead of responding peacefully, the robot launched a violent attack and resisted all conventional military efforts brought against it. Despite the U.S. Armed Forces' repeated attempts to destroy the robot, it headed straight towards San Francisco. The president called for an urgent and confidential meeting to discuss the critical matter of eradicating the alien threat. Unfortunately, despite the best efforts of the assembled group, they were unable to devise a practical solution due to the aliens' invulnerability to conventional weapons. Meanwhile, General Monger from the U.S. military arrived and informed the president that their only hope lay in utilizing the monsters held in a secret facility. The monsters, although dangerous and uncontrollable, possess the strength and bravery needed to destroy the aliens. General Monger brokered a deal with the monsters, proposing a partnership to take on the aliens, emerge victorious, and in exchange, grant them the freedom to reside beyond their confinement. The monsters and Susan readily accepted the offer. When they arrived at the location of the alien, Genormica became panicked upon seeing the gigantic robot present. As a result, she ran away and hid in the city. However, the robot detected the presence of Quintonium and followed her into the city. Upon finding her, the robot full-scanned her and discovered that she had absorbed the full radiation of Quintonium 
which made her the target for capture. As Genormica runs for her life, she is relentlessly pursued by a giant robot, jumping from rooftop to rooftop. Her desperate escape leads her to the Golden Gate Bridge, where the city's residents are evacuating to avoid the imminent danger. On the bridge, the robot tries to capture Susan by attacking her, but it gets entangled in the cables and becomes stuck. However, the robot opens its chest and tries to crush Susan leaving her with nowhere to run. Just as the bridge is about to collapse, Insectosaurus arrives and saves Susan from certain death, preventing the bridge from falling. Finally, the monsters arrived at the bridge where Susan was in shock. While they were conversing, the robot seized Susan and attempted to crush her with its colossal hand. Despite her struggle, Link tried to halt the assault. But his efforts were thwarted by the deflecting shield. Dr. Cockroach then ventured inside the robot and successfully disrupted the control of the deflecting shield. Regrettably, the robot's eye emitted a glowing light, which caused Insectosaurus to freeze. However, Bob and Genormica were successful in rescuing the people on the bridge, and Genormica used her immense strength to pull the colossal robot, causing it to crash into the sea. As a part of the bridge fell on the robot, its head got severed. Ultimately, Susan emerged as the hero who saved the day. Meanwhile, Galaxer, who had been monitoring the incident from afar, grew infuriated and resolved to travel to Earth to capture the Quintonium that Genormica possessed within her body. After Monger releases all the monsters, Susan and her friends make their way back to her hometown to reunite with her family and her boyfriend Derek. Upon meeting their daughter, Susan's parents are overjoyed. Susan then introduces her monster companions to her parents and requests that they be taken care of while she spends time with Derek. However, during the welcome home party, the monsters cause multiple issues, and people begin to fear and avoid them, resulting in a rift. Genormica pays a visit to Derek's studio because she misses him so much. Overcome with emotion, she embraces him tightly with her giant hands and kisses him, longing to restore their previous relationship. Unfortunately, Derek abruptly ends their engagement, explaining that he cannot marry someone of her immense size as it could potentially harm his career. He is concerned that his fame may be adversely affected. Susan was expressing her feelings to him, but Derek's behavior was insensitive, as he heartlessly ended their relationship with Susan. When she is deeply upset, she experiences an intense sensation, as if her heart is being ripped apart. This feeling overwhelms her with emotions and brings her to tears. Her friends come to join her, also broken by individuals who have mistreated them. People feel afraid and flee as if they are being perceived as animals, despite the fact that she has fought for them. However, through this experience, she comes to realize that her identity as a monster is not as bad as she once believed. She makes a promise to never underestimate herself again, and shares this realization with her friends. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a large spaceship emerges and captures Genormica using a tractor beam. Insectosaurus attempts to rescue her, but Galaxer shoots him down with his Fasoid cannons and takes Genormica away with him. She woke up to find herself surrounded by several robots and realized that her clothes had been changed. In a matter of moments, Galaxer locked her up in a prison cell and boasted about owning the Quintonium responsible for her immense size and strength. He planned to extract the Quintonium from her in a separate chamber. Despite discovering that Galaxer was responsible for endangering her city and injuring Insectosaurus, Genormica became extremely angry and managed to break free from her cell. She chased after Galaxer as he attempted to flee, but unfortunately, he succeeded in ensnaring her within an extraction chamber. The device stripped her of her quintonium and reduced Genormica to her initial size, devoid of any abilities. Subsequently, Galaxer used the extracted quintonium to generate numerous clones of himself with the intention of establishing his own dominion on Earth. This news is spreading quickly worldwide. Galaxy has issued a warning to the inhabitants of the planet, that within 24 hours he plans to kill them all. The monsters on Earth were saddened by the deaths of Insectosaurus and Susan's capture. However, Link convinced Bob and Dr. Cockroach that they must go up to the spaceship to save Susan and the world for distraction. With the help of the general manager, the monsters were able to infiltrate the alien spaceship. However, Galaxer quickly shot down the plane. Fortunately, the pilot and General Monger were able to escape from the destroyed plane using parachutes. The monsters boarded the ship and conducted a search, ultimately discovering Susan. One of the clones began escorting her to the incinerator, but the group disguised themselves as Galaxer clones and successfully tricked the clones into giving them the necessary security pass and gun. Despite the clones' instructions to incinerate Susan, 
The monsters managed to make their way to the main power cord with her. However, Galaxer was alerted by the spaceship's computer that there were intruders on board. Unfortunately, he informed all his aliens about the monsters and ordered them to hunt the intruders down. The monsters managed to flee and luckily reached the ship's security area where the main power core was located. Dr. Cockroach was able to solve the computer color code by leaping onto the dancing disco panel. Eventually, he managed to turn the ship's computer into self-destruct mode. Galaxer did everything in his power to stop the self-destruction but to no avail. He ordered the collection of Quintonium and the transportation of all his clones to different ships. As the ship began to explode, all individuals on board, including the aliens and monsters, started running for their lives. Susan managed to escape with the help of the monsters, but they couldn't exit the ship before the blast doors closed. The group pleaded with Susan to escape and return to her former life but she refused to abandon them. Susan used her anti-gravity shoes to take flight and locate Galaxer, in the hope of thwarting his plans. She approached Galaxer using the vehicle and took the gun from his hand, instructing him to save her friends by opening the door. Galaxer informed her that the ship was in self-destruction mode, and there was no way for them to escape. Despite this, Susan decided to take action and fired the gun at a ball containing stored quintonium causing her to regain her enormous size and strength. Genormica successfully saved her monster friends and rescued them from certain death when they jumped from the spaceship. General Monger was able to prevent the group from falling by utilizing Insectosaurus, who had undergone a metamorphosis and transformed into a butterfly. As a result, the ship exploded instantly with Galaxer trapped inside. As they arrived back in Modesto, a wave of euphoria swept over the entire town. As the four of them were greeted with a resounding hero's welcome, in a shameless attempt to capitalize on the situation, Derek cunningly offers Genormica forgiveness and a chance to rekindle their marriage, but with a catch he wants her to give an interview for his channel. However, Susan fiercely rejects his proposal and delivers a crushing blow by kicking him with her giant finger, humiliating him in front of a live TV audience. The incredible Genormica and her fearsome monster companions have captured the hearts of millions as they rose to become globally renowned heroes and now they stand ready to save the world once more.